dear students greetings of the day in this lecture we will discuss schwab function and schwab theta function various properties of schwab functions and then we prove a theorem in which we prove that all the three results are equivalent to each other we start by proving these expressions for schwab theta function and pi x to prove these uh, these expressions first we recall abel's identity that is capital ax we know number of primes less than equal to x 1 and here as small a n is arithmetical function we let that a n is characteristic function of primes that is a n equals 1 and 0 1 if n is prime and zero otherwise so using these definitions pi x becomes as an is 1 for n prime and then we can replace this one with p less than equal to x 1 so this may be written as 1 less than n less than equal to x an so this will also behave in the same way because an is 1 for p n prime otherwise it's zero so it becomes ax similarly theta x summation p less than equal to x log p so it becomes 1 less than n less than equal to x an log n now taking fx is equal to log x in abel's identity with y is equal to 1 which further imply now left hand side is same as theta x equals pi x log x and as per the definition of pi there is no prime less than equal to 1 so this term will become 0 so we are left with 1 to x pi t upon t dt and here again there is no prime between 1 and 2 so this becomes 0 so which further imply theta x equals pi x log x minus 2 to x by t by t dt. Now second part. Now we let another function b n is equal to a n log n. So with this substitution and using the definition of pi x and theta x, so theta x becomes summation n less than equal to x b n because theta x is summation log p and when we put value of b n here it is a n log n and a n is 1 for n prime otherwise it's 0 so we let it is capital b x on the left hand side summation 3 by 2 less than n less than equal to x bn fn and fn is log x so that is fn by log n is equals and uh, here we have in place of capital a we have capital b so bx is theta x so we get theta x and fx is log x Minus theta of three by two log of three by two minus three by two to x theta t f dash t to one by x derivative is minus one by t log square t dt. So which further becomes 
and uh, this is same as the definition of pi x so this is pi x equals theta x upon log x and uh, as per the definition of theta theta 3 by 2 theta 3 by 2 when we put x 3 by 2 here and uh, by definition of small bn there is no prime less than 3 by 2 so this is also 0 log square t dt so using the same logic again there is no prime less than 2 and greater than 3 by 2 so this term is also 0 so we are left with pi x equals to theta x by log x plus 2 to x theta t upon t log square t dt to which proves next result is we will show the following relations are logically equivalent means to say we we show 1 imply 2 and 2 imply 1 2 imply 3 and 3 imply 2 so to show this we need the expressions of previous result that we already proved we write them and from these two we get pi x log x by x so multiplying by log x to the both sides and divided by x so it becomes that limit of this is equal to limit of this we need to show limit x tends to infinity 1 by x 2 to x pi t upon t dt is 0 to show this we start with expression 1 that is x tends to infinity pi x log x by x is equal to 1 which means pi x by log x by x is bounded there exists some k positive and from here we can write or we can write pi x upon x less than equal to k by log x and using the definition of big O not OH notation this further may be written as pi x upon x is equal to big O of 1 by log x then the required expression becomes 1 by x 2 to x pi t upon t dt may be written as big go of 1 by x 2 to x dt upon log t so we solve this integral to so separating this into parts 1 by root x log 2 plus x with cancel out with x log of root x and here also square root cancel with square root 1 by square root x log square root x which is 0 x x tends to infinity therefore we have proved limit x tends to infinity 1 by x 2 to x dt by log t is 0 so putting this value here we have limit x tends to infinity 1 by x 2 to x pi t by t dt is 0 which further imply limit x tends to 0 theta x upon x is 1 so which shows 1 imply 2 now second part we show 2 imply 1 
to show this we start with the expression pi x log x by x and the second part x tends to infinity theta x by x is equal to 1 which further imply that theta t is big O of t and that theta t is big O of log t so this term may be written as big O of log x by x integral 2 to x so theta t is replaced with t dt t log square t which may further be written as so t cancel with t log x by x 2 to x dt upon log square t so solving this integral separately and further solving plus so this power can be written outside it becomes 1 by 4 4 comes here 4 by log x square log x cancel with this 4 by log x 1 minus 1 by this so which tends to 0 as x tends to infinity therefore limit x tends to infinity log x by x 2 to x dt upon log square t is 0 which further imply limit x tends to infinity log x by x 2 to x theta t dt log square t is 0 and which further imply limit x tends to infinity pi x log x by x equals x tends to infinity theta x by x so it is now we proceed now we proceed towards the third part in which we show that 2 imply 3 and 3 imply 2 or we show these two are equivalent so to prove this we start with the definition of shivoy function in terms of shivoy theta function and we prove this inequality first to prove this inequality we start with shivoy function minus theta x equals summation m less than equal to log x base 2 theta x power 1 by m minus theta x we expand this for the first value now by definition of shivoy theta function theta x is summation p less than equal to x log of p which is less than equal to summation p less than equal to x log of x so we can easily uh, write this because here we are only taking summation for primes and here we are taking summation for all x less than equal to so which is again less than equal to so here we are counting some taking some only for the prime number and if we take some for all numbers so that is x log x now psi x minus theta x becomes dividing both sides by x so it is psi x by x theta x by x and x here so this cancel with this this becomes log x square by 2 root x so this imply limit x tends to infinity psi x is equal to limit x tends to infinity theta x by x which further imply by part 2 limit x tends to infinity theta x by x is equal to 1 if and only if limit x tends to infinity psi x by x is equal to 1.